Okay, you know what Rugrats is, and you can figure out how these iceberg charts work. You're smart. The only thing I want to clarify where I posted these is how I said that this is only for the first five seasons of the show. Search for Reptar, and then just some meta stuff. Everything else is excluded from this as if they don't really exist. It's just focus on these things so you won't even hear any comparisons made to like later episodes and later seasons or any of the spin-offs. Anyway, with that, let's quickly go on with the sky. Nightmare fuel. This is a really common thing that people have been talking about for like the past 10 plus years looking at the show in hindsight. Everybody has pointed out how this show has really fucking weird moments in it and stuff that horrify them as kids, which I can totally understand why. And yeah, like, you just have to see the show for itself. It works best when you look at it as an actual kid. Fee for Dream Vibes. This goes hand in hand with the last entry, just like another thing of like a similar paralysis that people have acknowledged looking back at the show and... Just, yeah, like, it goes hand in hand with the nightmare fuel, and even when a character isn't having a literal fever dream, it still feels really trippy at times of just, like, the space, like, as if you're having a fever dream as a kid. Times the baby should have died. Yet another thing that people point out looking at the show in hindsight, like, these adults are pretty fucking incompetent, and... Yeah, it's gonna also go hand in hand with the next entry of this, and... And there's a lot of moments where, like, Tommy goes flying and shit, or he, he falls off a shelf, and yeah, just, like, babies wandering off on their own in general isn't a good thing. Idiot adults. And this is where this leads up to. People constantly now point out, too, when they look back at the show just how stupid the adults are. I'm looking at you, Dee Dee. Just really ignorant, fail to realize when they wander off on their own and get into trouble and almost die, and... DD believing in a quack, and yeah, it's just all one big huge mess, and I'm sure this music is helping it with that. Purple Reptar. This is probably my favorite entry of just like the first layer because Purple Reptar just always appeared with the show, and we've always just like accepted it and not really questioned what the heck his deal is. Like, I don't think they ever go into the lore of Purple Reptar, but it's just as important as Green Reptar almost, like, a really popular color swap in a fighting game and yeah we don't know if reptar purple that is is like a separate thing or if it's reptar how he appeared in like one movie or something in universe and yeah, i don't know purple reptar's just always been a conspiracy to me but we just accept his existence and love him chocolate pudding this is the most famous meme from the show it's probably still pretty popular today just because Stu himself is just like generally a meme and yeah this is fucking huge like over 10 years ago but I'm going to be talking about this meme a bit more in the deeper parts of the iceberg. Real life merch, yep it exists like you can go out and buy a real life Cynthia doll that I believe Nickelodeon gave away once which is pretty fucking cool and one of the better pieces of merchandise for the show and there's real life Mr. Tippy 2 and real life Reptar cereal and Reptar bars, but like the last entry, we're gonna talk about those ones a bit more later on in the series. Mouth shots. Another weird thing about this show, it goes hand in hand with the Fever Dream Vimes and stuff, is that they really love to put the camera inside people's mouths for some reason. I don't know what it is. Anytime somebody cries or screams or just generally talks, it might randomly just be in there for no reason. I don't know. Like, this iceberg just goes into how fucking weird the show is, and I'm sure you've, like, passively heard this enough for a while now. Tommy Pickles and the Great White Thing. This is the pilot episode of the series. It's not counted as, like, part of the main series. Like, it's not treated as, like, the first episode or anything. And I don't think it was, like, even developed into, like, a later episode and edited into one, like, some Nickelodeon pilots did. But yeah, this is it. And they did air it once for, like, the show's anniversary on TV. It's easy to find. You can go watch it yourself. And the animation is different and uncanny even, even though it's better than the actual show. And it's where Tommy's red shirt comes from. But yeah, that does it for the simple sky later. Uh, I know that was very basic, but after this, we're going to go into the very more juicy stuff with the tip of the actual iceberg. See you.